going into this race I'm I'm cautiously optimistic you know I'm I'm not gonna lie I'm definitely nervous about having a few races under my belt I'm nervous about my body reacting I, like it has twice well in all of my races this year um, but I love I love this sport too much not to try. A little bike check-in action. Check in my bike, my helmet, bike bag, gun bag. It's hard because you don't get access to your run transition bag and your bike transition bag, so I have to really be organized, and that's not my strong suit. Yeah, I have about five minutes for pro check-in, so... Oh, jeez, and not get hit by the truck. Representing Finland, Kaisa Sali, all the best as we welcome Sarah True. Hello, Sarah. Representing the USA. Hello. You got here. You it, got was a here. Tough, it was a tough year. Are you excited? I don't know what you're talking about. I got a lot of practice at Ironman. I was just saying on the way down here, listen, starting a few races, I'm like the fourth one, I know how to pack my bags. Like I got a <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, M dot tattoos. It's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm all right just doing the run, you know, maybe venturing into uh, cycling at some point, but uh, never the swim and never three of them together. <laughs> this is my favorite tree in Kona. It's a pretty epic tree. huge part because of this event. This is obviously a very long event, but it's in extreme conditions and it just becomes synonymous with toughness and fortitude. Most of us show up here, we're fit enough to be able to handle the demands of the distance. But it's also really hot, really humid, and the heat yeah, takes a huge impact on your body. I love this sport not you know, because it's a challenge and this is a different kind of challenge than I thought it would be. But that's the reason I got into Ironman was to really push myself there are long-term repercussions sometimes to doing this stuff and that's that was a wake-up call for me last year you know i went past my breaking point anybody who's who wants to do this sort of racing you're willing to push yourself harder than the vast majority of people will you're willing to you know, potentially compromise your long-term health because you love what you do Point. So you just gotta try to steady your nerves and she seems, she seems good. 
Yeah. Seemed like she actually slept last night, which is good. That's uh, usually fairly rare getting into a race. So uh, yeah, she's uh, ready to go. So far today, um, she had a good start on the swim. She came out right where she probably should have been, right around five minutes down on Lucy Charles, who was uh, head and shoulders above everybody in the swim. Um, but then coming out of transition on the bike, apparently she lost all of her gears and had no shifting. Um, so stopped by the first uh, mechanics, about a K in, and uh, took about 12 minutes for them to figure out how to get her back going. So hopefully it's fully fixed and she's going fine now, but 12 minutes is a lot to make up. She's still not having her day. Things haven't turned around. She, she didn't find some magic legs to miraculously get her that 12 minutes back. Um, there's a chance still that she can run a lot faster than a lot of these women. So there's still a chance that she can uh, make some of the ground back but a, uh, a top 10 spot would be hard. We were hoping that uh, Sarah may have lost her chip, timing chip, but it uh, looks like she's uh, having more issues out on the bike course. Um, don't know if it's more bike mechanical issues or, or what it is, but uh, today's not, not gonna be her day. So, unfortunate, but that's, that's the beast of the sport. No, I'm with Ansel, who's out here uh, filming it, um, and uh, I called your dad and told your dad. So he's, I think they sound like they're going to go to the hospital too. Um, I don't know how they're going to get there, because I think where they parked is going to be pretty blocked in, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, so we were worried about Sarah because following the tracker app, um, she wasn't coming through the splits where we thought, and I uh, was worried that she may have had another mechanical. Um, but I got a phone call from uh, the local hospital saying that um, Sarah was at the hospital, so we're heading there now. Um, I was able to talk to her briefly, so she's at least alert and um, conscious, and uh, I guess the heat just got to her again. Um, coming down from High V, uh, there's a nice long downhill, and I guess she was going in and out of blacking out and having a really terrified time about trying to negotiate the downhill with the crosswinds um, and uh, had to get off her bike and lie, lie down in the middle of the course uh, and then um, luckily medical was able to see her and pick her up and um, swoop her away so it's about an hour drive to get to the hospital so that's where we're heading now. Arrived. It is what it is, right? How are you feeling? Devastated. I'm, yeah, there's no way around it. I'm devastated. So, um, you know, my goal was to have a race I was proud of. And, like, my run, or my swim was fine. Got off on the bike. I had some weird DI2 issue that took about 10 minutes to fix. Um, and I realized it's gonna be a totally different day than I expected, but um, 
just still like, you can still put together a day you want to be proud of. So I put my head down and tried to ride hard and just climbing up to Javi, like, I realized something was not right. Um, descending, I thought I was gonna crash. Like, it's lightheaded, just kind of going in and out and um, pulled to the side before I crashed. Um, the medics came to me, stuck me in some ice. You know, typical, like, heat, distress protocol. Um, but yeah, you know, I think the hardest part is realizing that last year I raced here and well in the heat I was fourth and for whatever reason this year I just can't race in the heat <laughs> like and it's it's heartbreaking yeah it's okay. Drowning my sorrows in chocolate cake. It's always a healthy response. Tonight, beer. <laughs> Tomorrow, jet skis. Tomorrow, jet skis. <laughs> Listen, this will make me feel better for like two minutes, and then I'll just like go into the corner and cry again. <laughs> Yeah. Some lady gave me this flower. But you're just using audio.